The nursing care and medical procedure should be combined. This, of course, applies to all babies. And uh, you can review my uh, video on minimizing intervention where I discuss these aspects in detail. But especially in the smallest babies where there is a risk of IVH, we should also respect the infant's sleep-wake cycle. Uh, we should apply individualized nursing care. And uh, if there are any extra procedures, always question the necessity if we do need to do them. Uh, the handling for cares can be limited to every 6 to 8 hours to minimize the handling, especially in the first 3 days. Of course, if the baby is sick, you need to intervene more often. And uh, as I said earlier, the most experienced members of the team are better off handling and the same principle has applied in Iowa as well, where they have a separate team for managing. You can review uh, the lecture from the Iowa experience shared on my channel. It's better to use closed suction systems on ventilatedly mecha mechanically ventilated babies because it's less disturbing, there is less interruption of the ventilation and less fluctuation of the carbon dioxide. The measurements for the head circumference and length can wait till the fourth day of life. A weight is measured at admission and then you can measure on the fourth and seventh day. So daily weights can be uh, done away with if you are monitoring the electrolytes and the urine output carefully to guide the fluid balance. Avoid extensive cleaning of the incubator and body wiping during the first week just to minimize the handling. The change of linen and measurement of weight should be done with two nurses and always try to have a second nurse for any action where the baby needs to be moved so that the head movement is controlled and minimal. Of course, uh, stimulation should be minimized and pain management is important to avoid the stress and pain. And we should avoid constant light exposure by covering the incubator. Avoid noise by setting the alarm tones as quietly as possible. Uh, review the alarm limits. For example, the respiratory rate alarm is superfluous in ventilated babies. You have the saturation in the heart rate alarms. You can turn off the respiratory rate alarm. And acknowledge the alarms quickly as well. Do not place objects on the incubator and avoid noisy conversations near the incubator.